Hey everyone, Lewis Robertson with Alcove Productions. Uh, today I'm going to be changing the battery in our Yamaha DX7 uh, and actually uh, upgrading it to have this uh, little battery holder um, so that uh, in the future changing a battery doesn't require uh, soldering and uh, disassembling. So I uh, thought I would make a quick video to show the process in case anyone else is interested in doing the same thing. Uh, if you're comfortable with soldering and working on gear, uh, you know, it's a pretty easy uh, upgrade to make. Um, if you're not, definitely go to a qualified technician. So uh, to start off, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up uh, the DX7, uh, lift it up and locate the battery, and then we'll assess uh, next steps from there. All right, so now that we have it open, we can see our battery uh, right here uh, with the yellow surrounding it. Uh, to start off, we will need to uh, disconnect all of the ribbon cables uh, so that we can pull this uh, PCB out uh, and uh, access the back of this so that we can start desoldering. All right, uh, some of those were a little bit more difficult than others, but uh, they are all uh, taken off now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and undo the screws that are attaching this uh, particular PC board to uh, the chassis uh, and pull out the uh, PC board so that we can get started on replacing that battery. That came through nice and relaxed. I have a little bit of uh, browning flux here that I'm going to go ahead and get with just a little bit of isopropyl and a Q-tip uh, to kind of keep things clean. Uh, and then I will go ahead and install the wires. Melt from the back and push from the front. Okay, so give these a tug and inspect the solder joints here. Now, all that's left to do is put this PC board back into the uh, synth, uh, apply the Velcro here, uh, and then find a good place to put this, pop the battery in, and, uh, and then we're done. It should be relatively easy to access. Nothing should really get in the way there. OK, 
Okay. Last step here is to insert the battery. That should be good, and that is going to be much easier to replace in the future. Should be, you know, uh, five plus years before I need to replace this, but um, when I do, I'll be happy that I took the extra time uh, to do it this way. And honestly, I think soldering the wires uh, in were a little bit easier than soldering um, the battery connectors directly. Um, so it was actually a little bit easier, if anything. Um, and of course, finding these batteries is going to be very easy. I can just go to the to the hardware store and, and grab some. So um, let's close this up and turn it on and make sure everything works as it should. I plugged it in and let's give us. Uh, Give ourselves a cartridge here. Actually, let's start without a cartridge, just in case it catches on fire. We're not destroying the cartridge. And look at that. Insert cartridge. Looking good.